Hello, today is our third math lesson of the week. So we are continuing to add two digit and one digit numbers today. OK, who's ready for a challenge? We're going to see if you can remember all your number bonds to 10. So I'm going to give you one minute to write down all your number bonds to 10. So get a pen and paper ready and your time starts. Ready, steady, go. Your time has started. All your number bonds to 10. Keep going, bit of time left. And stop. Well done. Let's see if you got them all right. So did you get them all? Remember, our number bonds of 10 are two numbers that add together to make 10. So we could have had 0 and 10, 1 and 9, 2 and 8. 3 and 7, 4 and 6, 5 and 5, and then all the other way around as well. So well done if you've got them all. Give yourself a big pat on the back. Okay, so we are going to be using a number line to add today. So what is this number line going up in? How many is it going up by each time? What are the jumps in? So these are jumps of one. So if you said ones, well done. And have a think before we move on about how we might be able to use this to help us today. We are adding a two digit number and a one digit number. So here we have an addition calculation. 18 add five equals. Now we have our number line which starts at 18, so that's handy. And it's going up in ones. So to use the number line, we can bounce along the number line five times to find out our answer. So we could go one, two, three, four, five. Remember, we don't say one on this one. It's the next number we say one on. One, two, three, four, Five. So the answer is 23. Right, let's have a go at the number. Another one. This time we've got 25. Add eight. So our number line starts at 25 and we're going to go along again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the answer we've landed on is 33. So that's how we can do it by jumping in one. This time we're going to use our number bonds to help us complete the addition sentence. So we're doing 37 add seven. How many is it to the next 10? So 37, the next 10 would be 40. What's seven's number bond to 10? Have a think. How many are we going to need to add on? So well done if you got that seven, add three, but take us to the next 10. So 37 add three would be 40. Now, how many more do we have left? What's seven take away three? Seven in your head, take away three, six, five, four. So we need to add on the remaining four, which takes us to 44. So the answer is 44. So if you can use your number bonds to help you work it out, try and do that today. If you need to just do it in bounces of one, that's absolutely fine too. Right, let's try a different one. We've got 48 add 9. So we're starting at 48. 
What's 8's number bond to 10? It is 2, so we're going to add on 2. So 48 adds 2 takes us to 50. Now we've got to work out how many more we've got to add on. So 9 take away 2, so put 9 in your head. Take away 2, 8, 7. So we've got to add another 7. 50 add 7, no work number sentence. Squish them together. 50 add 7 is 57. So our answer is 57. Right, now we have a blank number line, but we're still going to use our number bonds to 10 to help us. So we are now doing 56 add 6. So we're starting at 56. What 6 is number bond to take us to the next 10? 6 add 4 is 10. So the next 10 is 60. Now we need to work out how many more we need to add. So 6 in your head, take away 4. We've got to add two more. So 60 add 2 is 62. So the answer is 62. Well done if you're able to use your number bonds to help you. So today's activity is all about using number lines and number bonds to help you. If you think you need a bit more help and you think you can just do the bounces of one, then do the one star activity today. If you think, yeah, I think I've got this, I want to give it a go, do the two star activity as it's going to help you with the jumps. And if you think I'm super confident, I can work out my own jumps myself, have a go at the three star activity. If you're feeling really confident and you're adding, have a go at the problem solving activity after you have completed your first activity. So once you've done that, got them all right, have a go, challenge yourself at the problem solving and reasoning cards. Right, we're going to finish our lesson today with a plenary. So somebody's had a go and they say the number line below matches the number sentence. 25 add 7 equals 32. And this person is Jess and is Jess correct? Has she done it right? Pause the video to explain it to someone in your house and have a think. Has she done her calculation correctly? Right, so no, Jess is not correct. And the mistake she has made, Jess has started at 26 instead of 25. So she's only done one, two, three, four, five, six, and there should be seven jumps that so she needs to draw that extra jump in there. Well done for working with number lines today and I will see you tomorrow.